Elastic lettering can also be applied to your letters. There are four different types of elastic lettering, straight, curved, perspective, and diamond. First, select the letters that you wish to distort. Then go to the Edit menu, select Elastic Lettering, and click on the type of elastic lettering you wish to apply. There are different control points that form around the letters, and the, the number of control points will depend on the type of elastic lettering that you choose. I can move individual control points, and the letters will adjust to that individual control point. I could also hold the shift key down. And when I hold the shift key down, the control points move in opposite direction. If I hold the control key down, the points will move in the same direction. So by manipulating these control points, I get different types of lettering. I'll select the next group of lettering and go to the Edit menu again, select Elastic Lettering, and this time select Curve. And you can see that only two control points are given with curved elastic lettering. Again, I can move these points individually. I could also hold the Shift key down and the points will move in opposite direction. While holding the Control key down, we'll move the control points in the same direction. Next, let's select Perspective and go to the Edit menu, Elastic Lettering, and Perspective. Here there are four control points, and by clicking and dragging, I can make the lettering appear as if it is coming out of a flat surface. The Diamond Elastic Lettering is also found in the Elastic Lettering Edit menu, and I have six control points here. I can move the points individually. I can also hold the shift key down and move them in opposite direction, or I can hold the control key down and they will move in the same direction. And again, I'm able to distort my lettering to create unique shapes. If I wish to remove elastic lettering, I simply go to the Edit menu, Elastic Lettering, and select None, and that will return my lettering to straight lettering.